to this video where I'm going to be talking about the color wheel in Procreate. I wanted to make this video because there's a couple areas that I find really helpful if you are wanting to paint in Procreate. The first is the color wheel is different than your traditional colors when you're painting. And the second is in the color wheel you can get very precise when you want to choose your colors. So let's take a look at this visual I've created and hopefully it will better demonstrate on these two areas. So if we take a look at the left is our subtractive color wheel and the right is the additive. The subtractive is our traditional color wheel, yellow, red, and blue. This is what we typically see when we're painting or what we see in the visual world. In the additive world, this is what we see on computer screens or on iPads and that is RGB, red, green, and blue. The difference between these, the simplest way I can describe it is subtractive light is similar to reflected light where it bounces off the object. In the additive color wheel, it is light that you're directly seeing from light that's being emitted. So what we wanna do is we wanna get used to the type of medium that we're using and so we can better choose out what the colors are because when we're mixing them, it's gonna make a difference. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna really look at the additive or the RG model, RGB, and that way we can pick out our colors. So I wanted to go over an area inside the color wheel to help us choose them out. So in the first screen, you see the basic color picker and this can get us by if we are just experimenting. But if we want to be more precise, then that's where this value section is really helpful. So for example, if we want to pick a red, we don't know exactly how to choose a red. One thing we can do is double tap in there and it'll get to the corner, but we still don't have the hue. So what we can do is come back down here to value and I'm going to talk about these areas here. We have the degrees, we have the saturation, the brightness, the color values, and the hexadecimal number. Let's start with the color values, two, zero to 255. So if we're wanting to choose red, here is red, green, and blue. We will slide red all the way to the right. And these numbers come from binary, or in software, it's zero to 255 and that is an 8-bit number that we can store in. And then if we want to change it, the value, let's say to green, then it is 255. So the value of red would be 25500. You don't exactly need to know the exact value of that, but it is helpful when you're trying to adjust them. So another way to convert that is a hexadecimal number. And the hexadecimal number is extremely helpful is if you're creating a color palette, say you pick out this exact saturation and brightness, come over here, you can give them these three numbers or you can give them this hexadecimal number and you could save it inside of your palette and then you could share that with other artists. So that's where the hexadecimal number converts from these three numbers. So let's take a look at how we get these values in our color wheel. So I already showed you the red would be sliding all the way over to the right. And then the green would be all the way over. And then the blue would be all the way over like this. So that gives us our primary colors. Now another easy way to find the secondary and tertiary colors is we're gonna use the hue degrees up here. And this goes off a full circle, so from 0 to 360. And if we divide a circle into the number of colors, so for example, we have 0 starting at red, and then we have 120 at green and 240 at blue. So let's take a look at that. 0, we get red, and then 120, we should get green. There's green and then 240, we should have blue. Okay, so then if we divide it up again, 
we should get our secondary colors. So those are gonna be at 60, 180, and 300. So if we go to 60, there is our yellow. 180, there is our scion. And then 300. is going to be our magenta. And then we can do that again. We can pick out our tertiary colors. So those line up at 30. There's our amber. Then 90. Let's see if we can pick that. Let's see 90 degrees. And that automatically adjusts these colors. So that way you don't have to memorize what these values are. It's so 128, 254, and or 255, zero. And then the next one would be 150. And then the next one, 210. Then 270. And then 330. And that makes up our tertiary colors around the color wheel. So those are the easiest way to mix the colors and get exactly the one you're looking for. And they will show up here as you mix the value. So let's say, yeah, we have our magenta, which is right there, is at 300 degrees. We come back here and it's automatically selected here. Okay. so. One last area to look at is the saturation and the brightness. The saturation is the purity of the color or the amount of gray added to the color. So over here on the right, it's gonna be in its purest form. Over here, it's gonna be saturated with gray. Another way to look at that over here is on this wheel from left to right. So over here on the right of the circle, this is gonna be its purest form over here on the left, it's gonna be highly saturated. Now this is different than if you come over here and look at brightness. This is the amount of black or white in the color. And this is on the other axis, so instead of left or right, it's up and down. The higher up is the higher brightness, the farther down, the lower the brightness. So if, if you wanna take a look at this, up here, in the top right, we're gonna have a high saturation and a high brightness. Down here, we're gonna have a high saturation and low brightness. Over here, we're gonna have a low brightness and a low saturation. Up here, high brightness and low saturation. Hopefully that makes sense. And you can slide these here as well. When you're picking out pure colors, you'll slide them all the way to the right and then you can adjust them. Let's say you wanna adjust the saturation. You could do it this way, uh, just depending on how you wanna choose those. All right, that's gonna do it for this video where I've talked about the hue, saturation, brightness, and also the values on how you can pick them in the color picker. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. I'm also going to be making more of these fundamental tutorials and procreate so be sure to subscribe if you want to see those and i'll see you in the next video so long